Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. I hope y'all are doing good today. All right, so I'm going to be doing um, a reading for you, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. This reading is going to be geared towards you and what you need to know. Um, one thing that was coming through when I was meditating over the energy of your energy, <laughs> quite funny. Um, it's like the irony of it. I'm meditating over your energy and what I was getting was that there was definitely some sort of energy drain. Something is draining your energy cancers. I don't know if it's uh, a person because it's not going to be the same for everyone. So it could be a person, um, some sort of bad habit, something maybe to do with food, a place, a thought pattern. Um, uh, your attitude, something is defeating you. Something is depleting your energy. You may even have trouble. Uh, thank you. <laughs> you may, uh, you may, let me turn it off, but that's definitely confirmation, right? You may definitely, uh, well, not definitely, but you may even have like issues with resting, maybe sleeping, or, uh, you may not be getting much sleep. Maybe you're having a hard time sleeping. Let me pull. I love this deck that I have in my hand. I don't think I've ever used it on this channel. Um, this is like my personal deck, what I use for myself. But because of what I was feeling around your energy, I wanted to use it. Because I just absolutely love this deck. And I wanted to pull a card for you, the viewer. Cancer, Sun, Rising, Venus signs. What do they need to know right now as they watch this reading that will help them? What do they need to know right now? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So, what is this? The Lily Maiden. Oh, you got a new, it says here, new life, hope. It says... The lily maiden sits upon a bright orange and pink lily, spreading vivacity and new life wherever she roams. I think that says vivacity. I can't see it. The handwriting is a little bit off. But it says here, she brings spring to your life and leaves a scent of new hope. So that's what you need to know right now. Definitely a new life and hope, new hope. The Lily Maiden says to inhale the heavenly smell of God's promise and drink up the sweet nectar of life. You are a you are approaching a new dawn and things will lighten up soon. See, I am so glad I got this deck to um to share with you guys. I wanted to pull some because someone's like I said, your energy just felt like really depleted, like drained. And maybe someone needed to hear this message. Maybe this is going to give you some sort of hope because maybe you've been feeling hopeless because of like I said, maybe it's like a thought pattern, something to do with an attitude that like some sort of limiting um, belief that you may have something is like depleting your energy but what you need to know right now is that you have a new life and this new life is going to bring you hope new hope because you may be feeling hopeless right let's go ahead and get into your reading so we know depleted energy but god wants you to know or whatever higher power you believe in wants you to know that you have a new life that's going to bring you new hope. Cancers. It says things will start to lighten up. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so I thought, okay, so this is... I thought, I was like, okay, wait a minute, are all the cards in reverse? Because every card is coming out in reverse. But when I flip to the bottom, it's upright. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Okay. All right, Cancers. So... Yeah, I'm getting here. 
this is interesting because the five of pentacles is in reverse and for me the five of pentacles is about coming from out of the cold coming from out of the cold and this is coming in as your present energy so you are coming in from out of something Maybe some sort of health situation, maybe some sort of financial situation. But right now, what's presently happening or will be happening is that you're going to be coming out of it. And that goes back to that new um, life because you have been struggling. And that is so. this is so nice because these are, at least these two cards can be definitely seen as struggle cards. And they're the fives at that. And I talked previously about the fives in my extended reading. Um, for those that remember, because I said, you know, they can, we talked about it, but nevertheless, they're like, they can be looked at as struggle cards, struggle situations, right? And so with this coming in reverse, it's saying that you're about to come out of that. You see the five of pentacles upright, they're cold, they're struggling. You know, this could be someone that has health issues, money issues, you know, people issues, but it's with this being in reverse, you're coming out of that. You could be having difficulties with people that you're dealing with, money, career, people that you work with. You know, the Spirit is wanting you to know the energy that's coming in for you guys is that you're coming out of that. You're about to start to feel lightened soon. That this load is about to lighten up if it hasn't already. The struggles that you were going through are about to lighten up. I'm seeing here... Sorry about that, guys. I have to take a phone call. But um, like I was saying with this five of pentacles in reverse, it's like, like you're coming out of that struggle period, that struggle season. So it's definitely a season. You're coming out of that. Um, in the past energy, I see that there was some sort of peace that you could have been making with the situation uh, right here with this five of swords. Maybe this could even be peace with some people that you were dealing with. But I'm also getting here, some of you just want peace. It's like you wanted peace. You didn't want this strife that you were dealing with in the past. Let's get some more insight around the past and then uh, help me understand what's going on presently. We got here the King of Swords coming in. All right, so Cancers. Now keep in mind, this is your energy. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, as it pertains to the past. So you're coming in. This is you as the king of swords. Something could have been um, really making you mad. This is like the king of swords is just like someone that's that could be cold. Very, very cold. Very nonchalant. Why are you coming in though? Because it's like you want to make peace with something that could have been making you very mad. So I'm seeing here six of pentacles. There's some sort of like payment that's showing up. You could have been mad. Okay, so now I see what was going on here. I feel like there was something you was you were trying to make peace with in the past. And I feel like you could have been giving someone something. Whatever it is that or giving to something. You could have been giving to something in the past. And it looks like it made you mad. And I feel like you got mad because you were trying to make peace. You were trying to do the right thing. Now, why did it make you mad? Why Why did this person, situation, or thing make you mad? You must have apologized or you were being nice to someone. You could have been apologizing to somebody being very kind and sweet because you were trying to make peace with them with that fire of swords. You just wanted peace. And I feel like they could have made you mad because maybe they wanted something from you or they were expecting something from you. Take that how it resonates. Let's get one more card. I um. Oh. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. And I do feel like, Cancers, rather this person accepted what you were offering or not, it looks like you were like, that's where that cold energy came in. I don't care. I'm breaking free from this. I tried. I'm not going to try anymore. I'm trying to be nice, but I'm not going to do it anymore. And so I feel like 
something that was playing on your mind about the situation isn't you're not going to allow it you're not going to allow it to play on your mind but i will say with the king of swords coming through in reverse you may not be seeing the situation clearly. You may not be seeing whatever the issue is that you were trying to make peace with and, and or the person or thing you were trying to make peace with. There's something about the King of Swords energy in the reverse where you're not thinking clearly about it or where you're not seeing something clearly about it. And that's what we need to uncover around the past so we can then better uh, unfold what's going on in the present energy. Because what's helping you is that you do want peace with people, places, or things in your life. You do want peace in your life. Um, let me see what deck I want to use for your past energy. For some of you, this energy here that you're trying to make peace with, this could be... Um, around a family situation. For some of you, maybe you are trying to make peace with... Um, your child or someone that may have been childish. There's something about a young energy that's showing up as well. Someone could, maybe if you're dealing with a person, there's something about a child energy coming through. We have here spiritual warfare, chaos, ego death, downward spiral spiritual awakening this is in reverse and that goes back to what i was saying about the king of swords in reverse there's something you're not seeing there's you see how the eyes and i told you that with that king of swords in reverse you're not seeing something clear and i feel like it's something it, I, you're not look you were not in the past you were not looking at the situation clearly now the thing about it is Sometimes the King of Swords can be very prideful and doesn't want to admit when they're wrong. Let's see what were you not seeing that you needed to see. What was Cancer's, what was the issue here? Or what was it that you were not seeing? A secret. There, are something, there was something that was hidden. And didn't I just say something you're not seeing? Something was hidden. Something you didn't know. Whatever the situation may be, whether, like I said, it was a person or work, whatever it may be for you that was going on that you were trying to make peace with, that upset you or made you mad and made you be like, forget this. You know, be very cold and distance about the situation. Distant yourself from it. It looks like there was something, again, that you did not know. Something was being hidden. Now, this is not a right or wrong type of thing, but you did not, you were not thinking clearly, and it could make sense why you were not thinking clearly or why you didn't understand something because you didn't have all the information. That's the thing. Something was missing that contributed to why you were thinking the way that you were thinking, why you were not seeing something clearly. And I don't feel like you got that answer in the past because the future position shows you will get it in the near future. That's why it's in reverse. Because something you did not see, you will see in the near future. So I can keep going, but they're not going to reveal it because it's going to show up in the near future. Now, when we get over here, we'll see what it is. But I'm not going to keep pulling right here because you didn't see it in the past. But there was something in the past about this situation that you were trying to make peace with that made you mad. Because whatever it is that you were giving to or whatever it is that someone wanted from you, it seems like they weren't accepting or they weren't giving to you. And you were like, forget this. I'm done. I tried to apologize. I tried to be nice. I'm not going to think about it. And I thought like you became very cold because it's like for you, I'll be nice if you're nice, but if you're not accepting what I'm giving, then forget it. But there was something here that you were missing, something here that you were not seeing. And I feel like it has to do with some sort of spiritual secret, the spiritual warfare, right? And then secret that you will soon see. It's like, a, I feel like this is about God giving you some sort of clarity that, about the past that you did not have. And you will get in the near future. 
So, like I said, the thing that's helping you, though, is that you moved on. Whatever it was that was happening back here, forget it. You know, didn't have all the information, so you didn't, wasn't able to, you know, do or think clearly about the situation. But you didn't continue to, you know, give in to the situation in a negative way. You moved on from it. All right? I apologize. Well, you don't want to accept the apology. Forget it. I'm moving on. Or whatever it may be, right? Moving on. Now, what's challenging you is the Page of Pentacles. And we already see that there is some struggle going on for you, but you're coming out of it. The problem with that is you're not out of it yet. That's why the Page of Pentacles is in reverse. You're being challenged because, yeah, you're coming out of it, but you haven't come out of it yet. Let's see what this is about, your challenge, more in depth. Because we got the Page of Pentacles as your challenge card. There's something about, I heard the near future. Hmm. And I feel like, I don't know if you guys are worried about how your near future is going to be financial wise, work wise, career wise, goal wise. Again, this could even be your health wise, right? We got here the star, something here. You, there's something that happened around that type of energy. Like I say, with either your work, your health, um, your job, something around that happened. And I feel like, I feel like you may have felt stagnant, especially being this page. You could have felt stagnant. Like you may have wanted to be a king. But you're being challenged because you're in this page energy. And you're looking at this coin. And looking at whatever it is that you're looking at, whether it's your health or like I say, whether it's your bank account or your career, I feel like it may not be big enough for you. Keep in mind, this is a challenge card for you. Something that you're looking at intently, I feel like it may not be big enough for you. And I feel like whatever it is that's going on around that, like I said about like whether it's your health or your career, it's caused you to lose some sort of hope. So maybe you don't have enough money. Maybe you're not in the house that you want to be in. Maybe your health isn't in the best shape. And because things are not where you want them to be, you're feeling hopeless. That's your challenge card. Let's get some more. We got, yeah, and, the, and what's challenging you is the strength. You don't have the strength. You're, you're, you're depleted. Remember we talked about that drained energy? And like I said, when you're feeling drained, because this is the strength card. And this is coming in reverse. So I was telling you guys, it could be a person that's draining you. It could be a bad habit. It could be something like around your diet. It could be something around your thought pattern. Some sort of internal attitude that's defeating you or depleting you. And it's causing you to lose your strength. And that's why I say, the present energy is saying, whatever it is that's happening right now, it's bringing you out of the struggle. It's bringing you out of defeat. It's bringing you out of the cold. Your challenge is that it's not happening fast enough because you're the page and you want to be the king. It's not happening fast enough. And it's causing you to lose faith. It's causing you to lose hope and your strength is starting to get depleted. You may be feeling like giving up on whatever path that God has for you. You may be, you know, like, why am I even trying? Because even in the past, we saw, you're like, I'm done. I give up. Tell me about this present energy. What are you coming out of? See, I told you guys, look at this. Wow, tower moment. I told you, I, look. Look at this. You cannot make this up. Look what I'm showing you. What are you coming out of? And what are you, you're coming out of this cold and going to this 10 pentacles. And how are you doing it? It's going to be a tower moment that's going to do it. There's going to be a tower moment that's going to bring it. And see, what you don't understand about this tower moment, that's God. And God will act when you least expect it. God will act when you think that God is gonna not going to act. And that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not about your timing. It's about God's timing. 
And remember I said wanting to be that king, you're at this page, you're going to get there. The challenge is it's just not happening fast enough. And you're like, ah, oh, it's been going on for so long. I feel like I'm about to lose hope. But God is saying, I'm about to divinely intervene. There is something that's about to happen in your present energy. So this is coming soon. That's going to bring this 10 of pentacles into your life. That's going to bring abundance into your life. Now, this is not cups. This is pentacles. So this could be your health getting better, your money getting better. This could be you um, starting some sort of job at a big company. Whatever it is, this is something that's going to be long term and it's going to be something solid and stable. And it's something that's coming that's a blessing. This is not you doing anything that's bringing this ten pentacles in. This is divinely orchestrated. Do you not see this tower where there's this lightning from the sky that's about to bring something down? And I feel like what's about to be brought down into, in your life is this struggle, is this strife. It's like where you were losing hope, God is saying, I'm about to restore your hope. Because see, didn't we start out saying that? You're going to get new hope. And we said with the star card, feeling hopeless. Here comes this tower that's about to bring you new hope. And this is showing up in your present energy. And what did I say about the near future? You're going to, remember I said there's something spiritual about what was going on in the past that you did not see. But you're going to get clarity in the near future because it was hidden from you. There was some sort of spiritual warfare that you did not see in the, that was causing some sort of issue for you in the past, but in the near future, it's going to all become clear for you because it's like you weren't getting something in the past. There was something about, you know, rather, like I said, it was people, workplace, situation, whatever it may be. You was not getting something in the past. And I feel like you were trying to lovingly deal with it. And you got mad because it either wasn't happening for you or people were not being receptive of it. And it's like, I'm moving on from it. And that helped you because it feels more so like when you moved on, even though you moved on unhappy and you moved on, some of you could have been moving on cold from it. It allowed you to sit here. And while you're sitting here, it allowed God to intervene. It allowed God to intervene. Surrendering. Now, let's see what happened in the near future. Because we're curious to know, you know, if what what is it that was hidden for you that's about to be revealed with that seven of cups in the verse? What's about to become clear about this spiritual warfare that was going on in the past? Oh, the sun card. Oh my gosh, Cancers. I just so love this reading for you because I told you when I was meditating over your reading, the energy felt so drained. But look what's up. Do you know what the sun does? It brings, it's the sun is about to bring in that new hope. Whatever it is that's going, it's going to get cleared up and you're going to see the sun brings in the light. So what you were in the dark about, you're going to see it and you're going to be happy. You're going to be happy. This is this card. The sun card is healing. It's a card of evolving. You growing. Because what the, the um, plants and things that grow, it needs sunlight. So you are growing. You are evolving. Things are going. I'm hearing that song. What is it where they say, I can see clearly. Now the rain is gone. Honey, you can see clearly. Now the snow is gone. Now the suffering is gone. And what else do they say in that song? It's like, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all the obstacles that were in my way. And it's like, it's going to be a bright, 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 sunshiny day. <laughs> right? That's what I'm seeing. See these clouds? You see these clouds right here? Something was confusing you. But you're about to, something is about to be revealed. That's going to clear it all up for you. Let's get some more insight. I'm excited to know more about this. The Queen of Pentacles! <laughs> ah, look, right? You go from the page to the queen. You went from the page to the queen. There's no nights. There's no delay. It's about to happen for a lot of you. Look. 
something about this, something about, like I said, with this page, you jump to the queen of pentacles. That's that ten of pentacles. Something is about to happen for you. Like I say, health, money, job, career, and you're going to be happy when this happens. Now, I've got to see a little bit more about what that is. So I'm going to pull, I want to pull a couple of cards before I tell you guys what is about to happen. That's going to make cancer so happy and give them the clarity that they need. Oh, I just saw it. Look at this. Something new. Pathway. Look at this. There's something, something new you're going to start. You're going to see why all of this happened. Let's see. Come on. Let me get some more out. You're going to see why it all happened. Because you're getting, a, you're getting some sort of promotion. With distant horizon. <laughs> and look, the despair in reverse. The despair is in reverse. In the distant horizon. And look, the um, this is a ship moving. Going somewhere. You're going somewhere. You're going somewhere. And this despair. That, that's what it is. <gasps> Official. Now I see it. Oh my gosh. Cancers. What you didn't see in the past. Something. Some sort of institution. Or some sort of person. Was stealing from you. That's why it's that. Something, and we talked about how your energy was being drained. You didn't even know, you didn't see this, that there was something stealing from you. Something was being taken from you and it was causing you despair. And some of you didn't even know what this was that was doing it. You have here an official person that's going to come your way. I don't know who this person is. Someone, I feel like whoever is coming your way, that's how you're going to get to this page, from this page, this queen. And that ten of pentacles, a, a surprise. There's some sort of surprise. And I feel like it's a financial, something to do financially. Let me get more insight around this for cancers. What is this coming their way? Yeah, here, concern in reverse. That was there before. Privileged lady. Hmm. All right. Some there's another person getting involved here. There's something about another person that was working really hard. The, whoever this person is, they were taking from you, cancers. That and this official person, rather this this is an official person or some sort of letter. This could be, like I said, an institution. This could be a business notifying you of the theft of something that was taken from you and it had this person this person and i feel like whoever this person is trying to be like you working hard to be like you copying you they could have been using your name they could have done they whoever this person is they were taking from you and you didn't know it they could have been doing spiritual warfare, something on you. That's what I'm saying. Secretly, something secretly was being done in the past to you. Someone was working really hard. Look at here, adjudication, court. Okay, I need a different deck. I need to know um, about this situation in the near future for cancers. Uh-oh, a card just jumped at me. And it says here, praying, faith, healing, and meditation. Sorry, that's my um, chair making that noise. Look, faith, healing, meditation. That's what came through. So, I don't know if that's something that you guys were doing, but that jumped out. So, someone maybe needed to see that. All right, tell me about this situation. Whoever this person is, like I said, they, they were taking from you. Siphoning your money some way, somehow. Yeah, look at here. Getting reading. Getting readings. Hmm. What's going to become clear about this situation for cancers besides this stuff? Tell me more about what's going to become clear. Oh, see here? A legal matter. A divorce, property, criminal, 
paternity, child support, traffic ticket. That's going to become clear. But I feel like how it becomes clear is not going to be like, uh, I don't know. It just feels like, I don't know how it's going to become clear because it's coming in reverse. We got here secret accounts. They even got secret accounts. So whoever this person is, they get readings on you. They get seek they have a secret account. What is this legal matter? Because we already saw here something to do with the theft. How is this gonna you're gonna find out? Oh, I miss you. Fell out. How is cancer? I'm trying to understand how you guys are gonna find out. I mean there's some definitely some sort of institution where maybe they may contact you. How is cancer going to find out about this stuff? I mean, what's going to happen to where you guys, I want to, there's something more here. Yeah, see, communication. There's going to be some sort of communication coming your way. And look, it's the five of swords at the under our energy. Remember, we saw the five of swords in the past, too. That's what you walked away from. Now I see what happened. It's that person that you were being nice to. And you were like, forget it. I'm not about to keep being nice to you. Yeah, they're going to now. Now they're going to want to communicate with you. They miss you. Th that's how you. That's how it's going to become clear. They're going. You're see the legal matter isn't so much about you um, being in some sort of legal matter, but you are going to be blessed financially as a result of everything that happened happening. But you're going to get told by the person that missed you but rejected you in the past, and they're going to let you know this privileged lady has been doing something secretly. It's taking, working really hard, toiling and laboring. And they weren't the only one. They were working in a group. Toiling and laboring. To, and it wasn't just you. Toiling and laboring, stealing. They may even go to jail or they get, again, there may be some sort of legal matter here. And this is someone that was even getting readings. Spiritual. That's that, that's that spiritual warfare. They were doing some sort of spiritual and secrets. They were doing something spiritual in secrecy. See, even right here, it looks like they're doing it in secrecy. In some sort of dungeon, some sort of basement, right? Working in secrecy. They're going to get exposed. It's a legal matter. It's, a, it's some sort of institution. I wouldn't be surprised if this person goes to jail. But the person that misses you is going to contact you and let you know. And that's how you're going to see clear because you're going to find out everything. Like, because there were some things you did not have answers to. Like, remember I said why they were acting that way to you? You didn't have all the information. They're going to expose everything. They're going to tell you why they were in that fiber source. See, mad. They see here, they didn't want to reject the cup. They were mad that they had in their mind, they had to reject your cup. See, here's this page of cups. Here's the cup. You're trying to give them the cup and they refused it. But in refusing it, they felt like they had to because in secrecy, there was something being done. This privileged lady could have been doing something. And I feel like they're going to call you and let you know everything. And you're going to be surprised. You're going to be surprised. Yeah, see, here's that five of swords. Why I was nasty towards you. Why I acted, why I acted mean towards you. I really truly felt this way, but I was acting this way. And it's because of this secret spiritual warfare that was going on that this privileged lady or someone that wanted to be privileged and was stealing to get what they want. There it is. Let's get one more. This a person's going to expose and tell you everything. Especially now that this person's in jail. They're going to let you know this person even had secret accounts watching you. Watching you. And, and, any, and anybody else. Because like I said, it's more than one person that they were looking at.
we got here the four swords coming in this is the near future this is going to be um the last present i mean the last card that i'm gonna take i'm gonna clarify this four swords though but i'm seeing here a break tell me about this break i feel like um uh, this may have been some time that you and this person may have been in separation. Yeah, see, here's the Seven of Cups. I feel like there was some sort of confusion when, when you guys stopped talking, whoever this person, whatever it is. It's like when they stopped talking to you, th things were very confusing to them. Why? Let me see. What was confusing to them? Yeah, they, this person has some choices to make and they took a break from making choices. I don't know why. Maybe because it was too hard. Maybe the, the choices that were before them, they didn't want to pick because maybe it was going to be there was going to be no winners or there was going to be a, something. I don't know. But this person did not want to make a choice. And that's probably why they were acting very defensive. But they probably didn't understand that not making a choice is actually making a choice, right? But they took a break. And I feel like they took a break too long. Because they knew you at the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Maybe just the Page of Cups, right? But you're now this Queen of Pentacles. You know your worth. You know your worth. So I feel like this person took a break and thought, I'll come back to it later. I'll fix it later. But now you're not the same person. Or you won't be in the near future. You won't be because you're about to get something uh, that's going to bless you financially, health-wise, you know, physical-wise. There's some sort of blessing coming your way. And we got here, ooh, want forgiveness. Yep, and now they're coming in as a knight, knight of pentacles. Took a long time, right? They took a long time. Now they want forgiveness. Now they want forgiveness. They're coming in. So I'm not going to sit here with this night. Because with the five of cups, I'm going to stay in this position. Mourning, longing, feeling sad. In reverse, I'm going to do something. But it took them a long time to do something. And remember I said too... Um, giving you something look at this this could also be this challenge them giving you something and you're looking at it and you probably like what is this i lost hope i lost faith in this connection i moved on or you're moving on and now you want to come back that's part of the challenge too someone that you thought you were going to be with now i don't think so I don't see this as a blessing anymore. So I feel like you're, the, I feel like I wouldn't even say you're going to have a choice to make because the seven of cups is in reverse. I feel like something is going to be clear for you and it's going to be clear for you about this. Something about this connection is even going to be clear for you. You're going to know exactly what to do though. Cause I feel like this, that's, the, this is the near future. But I feel like when this person comes through, you you already you're gonna already know how you feel and what you're gonna do when it comes to any offer this person may have for you. Let me get one more um, oracle card towards the near future. We got here funeral. Oh, I told you, massive regrets. I told you, yep, it's over with for you. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like you already know. It's clear for you. This is over with for you. And it's going to feel like a funeral for this person. Matt, it says here, massive regrets. You know what this, you know why this is going to feel like a funeral? Because this person, this is the thing. This person feels as though. Like they've lost you. And that loss is going to feel like a death to them. It's a big loss. That's why it says massive. This is someone that's not going to be able to get over you. They could move on and be with someone else. But you will always be the one that got away. They could try to replace you. And I feel like that's what this person may try to do. They will try to replace you. And they will know 
that whoever they replace you with, it will not be what they had and or could have had because there's something about what they could have had with you that this person is kicking themselves with. They're not going to recover from this. That's why it's going to be like a funeral. This person's going to feel dead not having you because the sun brings life. The sun gives life. This person is going to feel dead without having that queen of pentacles in their life. They're going to really see it as the upsy divine feminine massive regret beating themselves up because she's no longer interested or he's no longer interested. Divine feminine can be man or woman. It's just the divine feminine energy. Someone that has a lot of love, a lot of self love, someone that's nurturing and caring. This person is realizing I missed out on that. They know your worth now. And if they thought, they, they knew you at this page, imagine what you are now. You then, you then gotten better. You then gotten better with time. You then gotten better with, with trial after trial. You're blessed now. You've always been blessed, but the blessing can really be seen now. And that's even more so. You are going to be looking good. Because remember, the queen, of, the, um, queen of Pentacles, I was talking to you guys about physical. Health, getting your health together, physically looking good, financially good. This person's going to be kicking themselves when they see you. Yep, see, because they still have feelings. This, for some of you, this could have been someone that you met at work, or this person, somebody could have had some sort of workplace affair. But I feel like this person, like I was telling you guys, they still have feelings for you, and that those feelings are just not going to go anywhere. Losing sleep. I told you someone was having issues with sleep. We got here true colors. And then we got here losing sleep. Worry. Replying events. Thinking about you. I feel like there's going to be something about your job. Whatever it is that you do, I feel like it's going to be special. And they feel like they, they wish they could be a part of it. That's what I said. There's a tower moment that's coming your way. Some of you sooner, some of you later. But there will be one. There will be one. Sooner or later, but there will be one. And when it happens, this person is going to be hurt. They're not going to recover from this. See, I can't even sleep. Replaying how they did things. It's actually sad. Because they could have had this queen of pentacles. It's like I put life and death before you. I put the sun. That's the life. And here's the spiritual warfare. That's the death. Whoever this person that they were dealing with. I put life and death. Choose life. Nope. I'm going to take the death. That's what they chose. I'm going to take the death. I'm going to take the death. See? Life and death. And they chose the death. And that's why they can't sleep. I feel like you may meet someone at work. You may get it. And that's what I'm saying. This person's going to see you. See you glowing up. See you, um, your work thriving. And I feel like you're going to meet someone. You're going to meet someone else. And that's why I feel like you're going to, it's going to be so clear to you why this is a no. Why things happen the way that they happen. It's coming, Cancers. All right, guys. I wish you the best. And I send you healing, and I send you that light that's coming, and I send you love. Catch you guys in the next reading. Bye.